Hey guys! So, long time no see, but today I have a very important topic for you. Today, I am going to be talking about why I don't wear deodorant. Don't wear deodorant? Do I smell? Um, everybody smells. We all have a distinct odor, and that's okay. That's what our natural bodies produce. That's how our ancestors walked around. So, our sweat is extremely beneficial to our bodies. Um, our bodies produce sweat in order to flush out toxins. Uh, a lot of research will say that um, about 99% of our sweat is water, but the other percentage is um, things like hard metals. Sweat and our odor allows us to release toxins from our armpits. And when we put deodorant on, deodorant actually contains aluminum zirconium. It says it, it's the very first ingredient on your deodorant stick. So go home and like read your deodorant and make sure that you like see that, that it has that. Um, what the aluminum does is it creates a plug in our armpits. And because of that plug, we are unable to produce sweat, which is why you don't smell when you wear deodorant. But because of that, you're not releasing those toxins and that extra water that your body wants to release. Another reason why sweat is natural is it's our body's natural air conditioner. If you're outside and you're really, really hot and you sweat, that's your body trying to cool down. When you're putting on deodorant, you're not really allowing your body to function as it should. Another reason why I don't wear deodorant is because aluminum is potentially harmful. You're applying it to your armpits, your underarms, which is a very sensitive piece of skin on your body. And by the way, your skin is the largest organ. So anything you put on your body, it's going to absorb it. And when you put this deodorant on, the aluminum creates an estrogen-like substance, and estrogen according to the National Institute of Health, can potentially promote the growth of breast cancer. Um, I'm going to read you a quote straight from their website. It says, Because estrogen can promote the growth of breast cancer cells, some scientists have suggested that aluminum-based compounds in antiperspirants may contribute to the development of breast cancer. Now, I know that it's not 100% and it's not directly linked, but I don't want to take that chance. A question I get all the time when I tell people I don't wear deodorant, they're like, but don't you smell? And yes, I smell. I have an odor that my body produces. I don't necessarily think that it's that bad. And because I haven't been wearing deodorant for so long, it has made me, when people have an odor themselves, not as repulsed as I was when I was wearing deodorant. When you wear deodorant, it kind of puts this mask on. So anytime you smell anything that doesn't smell like, let's say, powder fresh, of course it's going to smell off to you and you're going to be like, oh man. But when you stop putting that stuff on every day and you start smelling the natural odors that your body produces, you're less offended when you smell other people that aren't wearing deodorant. Your body odor is also very important because it can tell you when you're sick. Have you ever been feeling a little bit down and iffy and your parent or your loved one comes up to you and goes, Oh, you smell sick. Your body produces a distinct smell when you're sick. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description to a article that was done by the National uh, Geographic and it's about a lady who was able to identify that somebody had Parkinson's disease just by their smell. There are alternatives to deodorant. Um, instead of buying these brands that have aluminum in them, you can go to a Whole Foods or uh, a stop and shop or any kind of supermarket or health food store and you can easily find a Jason brand. This brand um, claims that it has no aluminum, no parabens, no uh, phthalates or propylene glycol. 
you know, some of these I don't even know what they are, but if they're not in there, then I know that they're probably not the best for you. There's also, uh, like, armpit waxes that you can put on. Now again, these things aren't the best for you as well, going back to my first point where these substances put on a plug and it is stopping you from sweating and having your natural body's air conditioner come out. But if you do it every once in a while, it's not that bad. It's not the end of the world. So I hope this was really helpful for you guys. I hope I've opened your mind to why some people choose not to wear deodorant. And if you choose not to do deodor wear deodorant, that is fantastic and all the power to you. I'll see you in the next video, guys. I love you.